Assalamu alaikum, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we'll continue our ECG course and today presentation on uh, lift bundle branch block. Uh, my name is Ahmed Al-Hadidi, I am emergency medicine consultant. Lift bundle branch block is anatomical or functional dysfunction of the lift bundle branch here. So uh, block or dysfunction in the lift bundle branch itself causing impulse to be blocked. So depolarization of the left ventricle will be carried out by waves coming from the right ventricle through depolarization of the right bundle branch. Uh, many causes can lead to left bundle branch block uh, like anterior myocardial infarction, aortic stenosis, hypertension, dilated cardiomyopathy, hyperkalemia, digoxin toxicity, or a primary degenerative disease of the conductive uh, system like Langerie's disease. Uh, note that it's unusual to lift bundle branch block uh, to be seen in absence of organic disease of the heart. For uh, uh, normally, uh, the impulse of the syst uh, uh, septum, the depolarization of the septum will be spread from left ventricle or from left side towards right side. This will lead to small R wave in V1 and small Q wave in uh, uh, lead V6. This is normally. In left bundle branch block, the direction of septal depolarization will be totally changed. So septum will be depolarized from right to left. And when uh, spread depolarization from right to left, this will lead to uh, uh, a change. So from right here will cause a small uh, or a deep S in lead V1 and right leads and will lead to absence of Q wave in lead V1. So as threatened here, the direction of septal depolarization become right to left, right to left. And the spread of, uh, will it start from right ventricle through right bundle branch till uh, to left ventricle and the septum. This will produce tall R wave in lateral leads and absence of Q waves in lateral leads and will lead to uh, uh, deep S in uh, right chest leads. So the sequence will be a depolarization of the septum from right to left, as can be seen here from right to left. This will uh, make the QRS duration longer than uh, uh, 120 milliseconds or more than three small squares will lead to left axis deviation and uh, uh, will eliminate the normal septal Q waves in lateral leads and will lead to, so here in lateral leads, no, QR, uh, no Q waves and deep S in right chest leads. Uh, diagnostic criteria in lead V1 and lead V6, in lead uh, V1 will be, both of them will have wide QRS duration more than or equal to 120 milliseconds, will have dominant S wave in lead V1 and absence of Q wave in lead V6 and prolonged R wave peak time at more than 60 milliseconds in V5 and V6. And R wave peak time from the beginning of R wave till uh, the highest or the peak of R wave, this duration normally less than one small square but in, uh, uh, as a diagnostic criteria for left bundle branch block, it will be more than 60 milliseconds. There is associated features with left bundle branch block, uh, appropriate discordance. And appropriate discordance means that ST segment and the T wave always go in opposite direction to the main vector of QRS. So when you find QRS negative, you will find ST segment elevated and R wave positive. So QRS negative, ST segment elevated and T wave positive. QRS positive, ST segment depression and T wave negative. This is appropriate discordance in left bundle branch block. Uh, other uh, uh, feature like poor R wave progression in chest leads. So the normal R wave progression here will be lost. So negative, 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 and immediately will be a positive, positive. And of course, left axis deviation. What is the QRS morphology in lateral leads V5 and V6? R wave may take many shapes like M shape and also will, might, might be notched 
R wave or uh, might be monophasic R wave and finally maybe biphasic complex RS morphology. This is all normally in left bundle branch block. And uh, V1, it's either deep QS morphology. So it's QS, there is no R wave at all, or maybe small R and deep S wave morphology associated with appropriate discordance because this is mainly negative, will be positive T wave and uh, ST elevation. Uh, what we mean by incomplete left bundle branch block, so it's almost all criteria of left bundle branch block, but the QRS complex is not wide. It's between 110 and 120 milliseconds. This is uh, mean. This is why it's incomplete left bundle branch block with the other criteria of left bundle branch block, like uh, uh, no QRS, no small Q wave in uh, V6 with deep, QS in V1. Also will be associated, uh, sometimes associated with LVH criteria, voltage criteria for left ventricular hypertrophy, like this one in AVL, in V5, in V2, in V1. If you calculated uh, the voltage criteria, you will find voltage criteria for QRS. And also the R, uh, R wave peak time is greater than 60 milliseconds here. If you calculate R wave a peak time in V4 or in V5, V6 will be more than 60 milliseconds. And of course, no Q wave in lateral leads. Thank you and see you in next lecture.